Well, hello and uh, good afternoon to you. My name is Neil and uh, I'm selling this Ford Focus. This is a LPG factory fitted 1.8 LX 5 door in Moonstone Silver, direct from uh, Arvel PHH leasing. It's been used by Tails uh, uh, Corporation, which is a large business in the UK. And uh, this is the fourth one we've had in the last three months. It's the LPG factory fitted car, so it's congestion exempt, London congestion charge exempt, so only saving you uh, £8 a day if you go in and out of central London every, every time. Um, LX model comes with aircon, alloys, ABS brakes and a heated front screen. Remote central locking with two keys. Car's just one owner, full service history which we'll go through later. It's been used, it's done just under 100 and uh, basically has a few minor marks but nothing more to report than just the odd little bit of touch-ups to go. So we'll do all that for you and rub all the uh, tar marks off, give it a wash and polish up and full valley inside and it'll look uh, spick and span. Fresh number plates have been fitted, we do have the old ones as well to go back on the car. As you can see it's got the bifuel emblem on the back of the vehicle as well as the filler cap on the side there. It's very easy to fill and I will show you how to fill it up and give you a full tank of LPG on your departure. Locking wheel, uh, locking wheel uh, alloy wheels which with the, the key, I found the key and it's in the car. The exhaust is very clean and tidy, it drives very well, the brake pads are all good and uh, discs are all fine and we'll run around the tyres briefly just to show you what uh, what the Michelins are like. So front Michelin here, very good uh, tyre and the brake pads are about 60-70% uh, left to run. Front tyre is probably about uh, one third worn. Small dimple dent on the door here, nothing to worry about too much. Tinted glass obviously, alloy wheels. This Michelin tyre is actually uh, on the uppers, it's not far to go. It's about 2mm uh, off the wear bar. Rear bumpers good and tidy, reversing light, rear fog light etc. This one here, about the same as well, about uh, two mils off the wear bar. This one, I think, is about, uh, yep, pretty uh, plenty of wear to go on, though. So the rears are need replacing probably uh, a couple of thousand miles to go, I would imagine. So then, uh, the car basically is showing a few minor stone chips to the front leading edge of the bonnet, but nothing to worry about too much. The heated front screen is, uh, is a godsend in the winter. There's a little uh, elements running up down the screen which heat up and demiss the screen really quickly. It's patented to Ford. You won't find any other make bar for a Ford with that on it. Uh, actually some, saying that sometimes a Volkswagen has it but that's only on the Charan and that's made by Ford anyway. Right let's pop the uh, doors but first of all we'll go and have a look at the history for you. Okay welcome to the service his history section on this uh, Ford Focus. So for starters then we can see remote key and one spare. V5 book shows just one previous keeper, Tails Corporate Services, Focus LPG, alternative fuel car, 168 grams per kilometre, I think that's £145 per year, we'll put it on the website there. A couple of old MOTs, one at uh, 76k with no advisories, and one at 97,384, and that has got an advisory notice, but the failure sheet isn't with it, well it wouldn't have failed, it just had an advisory. Uh, that is until the 20th of May 2009. Uh, the service book comprises of one, two, three, four, five, six, six stamps, and also a service print, which also shows the car has been well looked after. And uh, let's just go from zero miles upwards. Just general servicing, discs and pads, or and hydraulic brake fluid change at 50k, 60k was a service again. Uh, some glass service at 75,000. 27th of the 407 MOT test water pump fitted new tire and MOT test distributor uh, distributor and HT leads along with the MOT test at 97 uh, 97 800 so what just uh, very recently uh, the car had um, a misfire on number four cylinder and it went in I have spoken to Abbey Garage and it went in it had the cylinder head removed it had two exhaust valves put into number four cylinder and a new cam belt fitted uh, I'd imagine that job was probably about uh, seven or eight hundred pounds worth, so that's good news for the next keeper. And that was done on the 12th of the 6th, 08. So there we go then, full service history, just as we like to see, just the job. Back to the car. Prior to that, right, and with the uh, factory fit LPG system, the car has a tank 
where the spare wheel is normally and that is a 52 litre tank and that fills for about 25 quids worth of LPG there's the locking wheel nut and your wheel brace and there's an inflation kit and jacket etc and we do have the plates to go in the car as I said the seats in the, in the rear fold 60-40 and the back squabs do fold up and in fact I've just uh, put my mountain bike in uh, one of these recently and it fitted in there quite happily the headrests all clip up quite easily and have little storage spaces. The rear of this car is nice and tidy, the door cards are immaculate, the rear seats are immaculate, three inertial rear belts, the headlining is really good condition and I would say the car has been very well looked after inside, doesn't appear to have been smoked in, had any pets and is good and tidy. Pockets in the rear of the seats, 12 volt power supply down the bottom there. But yeah, all pretty good, all rather nice. Remote locking all round, child locks on the back, Height adjustable driver's seat, lumbar support on the front uh, seats as well, I think, actually. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm mistaken, no, it's just the rake. The centre console, cup holders, 5-speed manual gearbox, all tidy, air conditioning, blows nice and cold, CD player, radio code present, all there. Steering wheel in good order, airbags times two. Two airbags, ABS brakes, the floor, carpets and the pedal rubbers all in good order. We've got uh, front windows which are one touch and remote locking key, as I said, with a spare key. It's just a normal one, but it is the original spare. Right, when you start the car up, then the ABS light comes on. That's all fine. All goes out. The exhaust sounds fine. The engine sounds fine. It runs just like it should. Radio works well. Cup, uh, no, that's not cup holder. It's just a little cubby hole. 12 volt power supply. And as I say, the air cons fine. That all works and blows nice and cold. No wear to the steering wheel, it's very tidy indeed. The car has a little LPG switch just down here, which you press to turn from petrol to LPG. And the gauge is dual purpose, it shows basically petrol and LPG. So if I press it on to gas, it comes up with petrol. And then press it again, and the LPG shows there's a bit more LPG in it at the moment. And there's a little green light just above it, there we go. You can see it just flashing at the moment, and then it goes solid. And that shows the car is then running on gas. No misfires, all spot on. Passenger seat, really tidy. All the books, etc., are here. Owner's manuals. Let's just ask if I can unzip it with one hand. I'll show you what's in there. Digital clock. 98,014 miles, this car's showing. As I say, you get a free LPG, a tank of LPG with it. There's all the books, owner's manuals, etc. So they're all there. There's the engine bay, has had a, a light clean, nothing too serious, but it all starts and runs fine, the battery's good, the coolant bottle's got the right coolant in it, and showing somewhere between halfway and maximum, power steering reservoir, okay, brake fluid, okay, screen washer bottle, okay. And there are four injectors, one set for petrol, one set for LPG, vaporizer and all the usual things. It, kit's made by uh, Nikam, so it's a well respected kit, it's used in Vauxhall as well. 1.6 16 valve, ZTEC motor, uh, 115 brake horsepower. Got the rather novel way of opening and closing the bonnet, like so, and then the key comes out, he says, there we go. I've just got to close the bonnet up. Okay, so there's no uh, major bodywork to speak of. The car drives fine, I've driven it, and it all drives well. Now, if you're interested in, one, in this car, do give me a call. The telephone number is at the end of the video clip. be very happy to help with any questions. We can do the congestion charge exemption form for you as well. It's dead easy to do. As you can see, all the carpets are fine on this side and the passenger seat. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little video clip and that uh, it's all been of some use to you if you're travelling down from London. You can pay with this on a debit card and we can tax it for you for £145 for 12 months and we can arrange that for you if you come during uh, 9 till 5.30. Post office is just up the road. Warranties are also available through Warranty Works. www.warrantyworks.co.uk Right. Thanks once again. Bye-bye.